Hello Aquarius viewers. I'm going to get right into the reading. So it's whatever the cards want to say. We'll see what the storyline is. Okay, let's see what wants to come out. Two of Cups. That's a good card to get. The Emperor. And if this is your story and you want a private reading, my email is below. It is dragonenchantress at aol.com. It's right below in the description box. So this person's coming forward, but they're coming forward in a very logical way as opposed to an emotional way. Um, let's look more into it. And any comments are appreciated too, even just leaving a heart comment below because it helps me get back in the YouTube algorithm again. So I, I really appreciate you guys engaging with the channel. Okay, Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Pentacles. Okay, let's see. I feel like this person does love you, but they're not, they're coming forward. They're thinking about making you some kind of offer. But they're not quite coming forward in the way that you would want them to. It's like the Knight of Swords is like clear and direct, like they're fighting for something. And the Knight of Pentacles is very loyal and stable and grounded, but they do move very slowly. The Wheel of Fortune, it's, I feel like this person is ending karmic cycles. I feel like they're finding a balance. I feel like this person is really thinking things through. This isn't like, this isn't the type of person that's going to get drunk and they're just going to message you and be like, oh, I love you. I'm ready for this. Let's do this. This is more the type of person that's, they're going to think about everything. They're going to weigh all the pros and all the cons. They're going to watch you on social media. They're going to observe. They're going to take notes. They're going to, they're going to observe all the good things about you, all the bad things about you. They're going to compare it to past relationships they're going to talk to their friends and family about it. They're going to make sure their finances are in order. This is somebody who's very, um, very strong masculine energy. That's, you know, very logical. They're just, they're, they're going to make sure that, that they have everything in order in their life before they come forward. So they are wanting to come forward, but there's, I wouldn't say it's necessarily uncertainty. It's, they figured out everything that they can figure out on their own. And the only thing left to do is just experience it finally. You know what I mean? I think this is somebody that's been kind of um, like you guys either talk a little bit here and there or you haven't talked for a while. There isn't like a whole I don't feel like there's a whole lot of communication with this person. Or if you guys are talking, it's like not as open and honest and vulnerable as you would hope it would be. You know what I mean? Like it might just be kind of small talk where it's like you guys aren't really quite saying what needs to be said. But I do think it's a good thing, though, that they're at least realizing that they can't do it all on their own anymore. Because I do think this is somebody who's a little, I don't know if stubborn is the right word, but it's, it's like very logical, very... Um, they have like a certain moral code. They like to do things a certain way. They like to do things their way. It's, it's not somebody that's super impulsive. It's not somebody that, that likes to, they, they kind of have their, their own, you know, their own ways of viewing things, their own, their own methods that have worked for them that they like to stick to. They have their comfort zone basically. And it doesn't mean that's all there is to them. Like you might definitely see a deeper side to them, a softer side, but just in general, that's a big part of their personality is what you're, you know, this kind of emperor energy, this knight of pentacles, uh, knight of swords. But yeah, I feel like they're, they're kind of realizing like they've been as much spying as they can do. They've observed and they thought about it for a while. They've been thinking about this for quite some time, probably. And this could be a new person, too, that's been observing you and, and you know, wants to ask you out. But they they wanted to make sure that you guys would be a good fit before they asked you out. This person has a lot of integrity, so they don't like to do anything unless they're really sure about it. They like to, to have all their ducks in a row. Um, or this could be someone from the past where it's like they're just, you know, again, just observing and just making sure that they, they say the right things, they do the right things, that the timing is right. Um, but yeah, they, they've done as much as they can do on their own. So now they realize that they need to build with you, that it's time to, there's nothing left to do, but just, you know, communicate and come forward. 
Four of Wands, Judgment, Eight of Swords, Ace of Wands. Why the Eight of Swords? The Tower. Yeah, I feel like they went through some stuff. Like maybe they used to be the type of person in the past that would move more quickly. And I feel like that didn't go very well for them. So they might be a little bit overly guarded now. They might be a little bit overly paranoid about like, because like they have this new perspective, you know. They might be like overly paranoid about moving too quickly. Or it's also possible that that was with you. Maybe, maybe you guys moved too quickly in the past. And, and so they're trying to find that balance now in your connection. Tell me more about this. Temperance reversed. The sun. The two of pentacles. The five of wands. I feel like... Hmm. Let's see. I feel like in the past they tried to balance it out and somebody took that as like conflict or rejection and somebody just walked away. Somebody was like, like some, like you might not have liked if, if again, for, this isn't for everybody, because like I said, for some, this is a new person who is just a little bit more logical and they really want a good feel of who you are. This could have been somebody that was like physically or mentally abused by people. So they really like to read people for a while before they ask them on a date. But if this is a new person, I feel like this could be somebody where there was like an imbalance, like they were trying to like juggle different things, they were trying to find that balance. And, um, and again, I think you just you took it the wrong way. I think somebody took it the wrong way and just walked away. They're like, this is, you know, like, this isn't for me. This is too logical. Like, I want something more romantic, more emotional. The lover, yeah, the love is here, though. I mean, this is like a divine couple. Okay, tell me more about, um, Okay, so we know that this emperor has been watching you. They've been planning their approach. They want to do things right. They wanted to make sure that they have their life in order. Again, not a bad person, just a little bit. Sometimes they're a little bit too stubborn and too stuck in their ways where they could. They they need to be a little bit more vulnerable, a little bit. They, they need, I feel like one of you is more free-spirited. And they need that energy in their life to balance them out. You know, they can be a little bit too hard-headed where it's like they need to be able to go with the flow more. They need to admit they're wrong more. They need to, you know, they don't always have to be right about everything. But um, but yeah, so they're, so we got that they're they're in that, that energy of, you know, recognizing that they need to approach you, that they need to make a move, that, you know, they feel like it's finally time. They're like, okay, I've done all I can do. It's, it's time to, to get this off the ground. What, what comes next? The High Priestess, Three of Swords, Three of Cups, Nine of Wands, Four of Swords. I feel like they like to observe so much because they've had their heart broken a lot in the past, maybe being cheated on, third-party situations. So I feel like that's kind of why... I feel like this person has a lot of damage that they are coming forward with. Like they think that they're not, they think that they're completely ready when they're not. And with the high priestess, it's like they're, you know, like it, same energy we were talking about. It's like, they're watching you, they're observing, they're planning their approach. Um, but they still need to get through this energy. They still, they still have some healing they need to do because there's still some, some fears and whatnot tied to, I think some of them are watching you to see if you are with anybody else. They they didn't want to be humiliated. So this could be somebody that was like, they didn't know, like, maybe you're kind of flirty. They didn't know if you might have been with somebody else. They wanted to just kind of sit back and observe. They might also be very distrusting with people. They might kind of see, I think maybe they've been cheated on. And so maybe they feel like people just aren't very loyal. So maybe they kind of wanted to like spy on you a little bit and like watch you and see if you know, see if there is anybody else that you're talking to. This could even be somebody that like went through your phone um, for some of you. That's only for like one or two of you, not for many of you. But tell me more about this. Page, yeah, I think you're going to get a message from this person. But again, I think it's going to be because, yeah, because they're, they're waiting for the ship to sail in. And it's like it's not they, they have to make that move if they want to come towards their king or queen of cups. They have to give this love offer. They can't keep love isn't logical. Like they can't they can't keep being logical about everything. 
you know, this is one of those people that they kind of feel like if they if they think about the worst case scenario, if they plan everything in advance, they can control things. You know what I mean? Like if they watch you and they make sure you're not with anybody else or they they read all your posts and they read your writing on social media and whatever is up for the public to view, like they watch all of that. They they feel like they can have they, it's like they want that sense of control. They want to be like, oh, I understand this person. I know that they're loyal or it's, it's like they feel like they can just like they want to predict the future. They don't want to take any risks. They don't want to put themselves out there too much unless it's a sure deal. Um, so, so yeah, they're saving themselves the embarrassment and they've been watching you for a while. But yeah, I feel like they're at that point where they're like, okay, there's nothing else to do. And I think they're also kind of realizing that you're going to move on if they're not making some kind of move on you if they're just always watching you it's like that's boring there's you know what I mean like you want someone to go out and have fun with you want somebody that's going to come over you want you want an actual relationship and and so I think they're they're kind of understanding that that if they want you in this soft energy they're going to have to present they can't come with like you know uh Ace of, Ace of, uh, well, Ace of Swords, I mean, is a good thing, but they, they need to come with the cups energy is what I'm saying. They need to come with, it's a new start, but it needs to be a romantic new start. It needs to be an emotional new start. They're not used to expressing their emotions, but I do feel like they're going to try, but it, it, at first it might be, like I said, a little bit more logical than you would hope. Tell me more about this. Knight of Cups, King of Wands, Seven of Cups. Nine of sword. Yeah, because it's like they get in this like, like they try to come forward in this emotional way and then they get in their head. It's like illusion, anxiety, uh, insomnia, you know, fears, like thinking worst case scenario. Like, again, this person has control issues. So they like to plan and predict every little detail out. And they're going to they're going to drive themselves crazy trying to do that. And so it's like they try to come to you in this more emotional, passionate kind of fun energy. And then they end up just getting in their head and freaking themselves out when they're in that energy because they feel like they're vulnerable and they it reminds them of the past and they're like no like I got to hold on to my comfort zone to my control issues I got to make sure I have everything planned out I can't have any surprises like I want to you know this person doesn't take any leaps of faith like I said they have to know exactly this is the type of person like you have to give them directions before you even go somewhere because if they don't have directions they're like I'm not going like like they, they have they have some major control issues they need to work through but yeah they get in their head and they freak themselves out and they get out of this passionate romantic energy that they have deep down and they end up in king or queen of swords energy instead which is again no fun for you you're just like this this is you're more free-spirited and fun and silly and loving and i think deep down they do have like certain energies that match you more but like on a surface level they're more of like a king or queen of swords type and it's like you're just kind of like this is this is boring like i like where like where's the romance where's the passion tell me more about this the fool seven of wands yeah they want this new start but there's going to be a battle to really manifest this to, to they're going to be at war with themselves for a little bit it's still going to be a process they are wanting a ten of pentacles with you though if they wait too long it's like it ends in heartbreak you know what i mean like you're gonna you're you and i think they're they're realizing that you know they can't just keep waiting for those those seeds to sprout it's it's like at a certain point you need to do something the moon what's the moon coming up for five of cups I feel like the moon, I feel like a recent moon cycle or an upcoming moon cycle is going to help them do some healing work um, with, you know, loss, regret, disappointment, things that they've been in and kind of like a stalemate with. Yeah, their, their toxicity, it's going to show them some things about themselves that they didn't want to see. It's going to show them what's been blocking them from being the king of pentacles, you know, abandonment, being left out in the cold, things that they've been through. They're going to be kind of guided to to heal these traumas to go through, you know, whatever it is that's been holding them back so that they can 
be in this energy for you. So I feel like an upcoming moon cycle is going to be helping them with this, this healing process that they need to go through. Because again, it's like they're stable and logical in a lot of ways. But again, there's these underlying deep control issues that they need to get more in touch with their emotions and deal with them. So, um, but yeah, I do see them coming forward. I mean, they are because they are realizing that you're bored. They're, they're realizing you're bored. They're realizing that you're, you want something more passionate, more fun. You want somebody that's actually going to be there. Um, maybe something you're posting or something you're doing is giving them this realization. They're like, I have to, they're trying to find, they're, they're in more of a emperor kind of more of a masculine energy, but they're trying to, it's like they get so scared when they get in like when they when they get in touch with their feminine side it's like they feel vulnerable they feel scared they feel like someone's going to come break their heart like they don't trust themselves they don't trust their intuition and and so it's like they're trying to but it's like a conundrum because then they're like well if i stay in the emperor energy if i'm like completely masculine all the time you're you're going to be bored you're not going to resonate with that you're not you're not resonating with the the closed off energy anymore you're not doing it um so it's kind of like they're trying to find a way to uh to come forward in a logical way but still give you like a like a logical offer but at least a new start something that's something to get things off the ground basically so to get things you know moving between you two so that you don't just get bored and give up on this completely so anyway i hope that helps someone like i said if this is your story please you know comment um engage and uh and yeah, my email is below in the description box if you'd like a private reading. Thank you.